What is up, everybody? MN Twins 28 here with another episode of GTA Online. This one is a pre recorded one. I'm not doing a live feed. And um, this one's going to be a little different than my previous videos. Um, as you can see, I'm standing inside my, my garage at my Del Perro apartment. I thought I'd give you guys a chance to see my my cars. You've seen two of them already. You saw the two Banshees. So I wanted to show off my cars, and there's a reason why I'm showing you off showing off my cars. Um, I've made a couple decisions while I was at work last night, so I wanted to share with you what I've decided to do. Um, but first of all, I'll show you my fleet of cars. So we'll start down here and work our way back. So as we come down this way by the by the desk, all that. There you see the vi the two vipers, the banshees. I don't care what people say. Yeah, it's a banshee in GTA world, but in my world, in our world, that's the fucking viper. The classic, vintage 1992, somewhere about. And there's the Banshee with the roof on it. And I picked, in the in one of the videos I said it was forest white. I, I was mistaken. It's frost white. And I think it's really slick. I love that look. And I believe these two have some mods on them right now. They don't have max mods. And none of these cars will have max mods because I'm not at that rank yet. I'm at level 50. So I got a ways to go, which is fine. And as you know, this car right here is the free one everybody gets, the Elegy. This was my fastest runner right at the time until I started getting going on high, on um, the business aspect of the of the heists on the PS4. You know, the Empire um, cargos and all that stuff. This was my my baby for a while until I got those two over there. Right here, here's a classic throwback from San Andreas days. I'm glad this is in this game. I love this car. The Hot Knife. I love it. I'm going to do some mods to this one. Um, I'm thinking about giving it a slick metallic purple. Um, I live in the state of Minnesota, so I bleed purple and gold. Gold Vikings, as well as twins, blue and red. So that one probably be, this will be my Viking mobile, the Hot Knife. And of course, you all know this car right here, what it looks like. The Dukes, the Charger look-alike for the Dukes of Hazard. I couldn't resist, so I got that. This is my heist runner, doing heist. The four, the four door. I when I started doing heists, I had the armored car, the Karuma. Well, I ended up selling that because I needed cash, and the Karuma was maxed out, and it was quite a nice payday. Well, I found this car one time when I was running around, and I was wanted by the cops, and I had to get away quick, and I happened to steal one of these. This is the Lampadati Felon. I love this car. It is slick. I love the traction on this car. It's got good traction. Braking kind of sucks. I need to do some work on this, but this is this would be my my heist mobile if I had guys in the car which I have a story to get into as, uh, later on in that these two cars here anybody that's Smokey and the Bandit fans you should recognize these two the first one right here the Phoenix the throwback to the 77 Firebird Trans Am uh, it's, needs a couple more mods I believe and all it really needs is a freaking phoenix on the roof or on the hood of the car I would love to get a logo for that and this is the 1980s version of it the Ruiner anybody from Smoking and Bandit that's seen Smoking and Bandit 3 this is pretty much what it is I need to do some more mods for that and then this one right here the Hummer the Patriot um, this is the most recent acquisition, I believe. This was one I saw on the street as I was coming back to the apartment. I happened to see it, and I'm like, oh, hey, I like that. That's cool. So I stole that. It is the only one in my fleet that is uninsured, so I still need to get some mods. I need to get insured and all that. So That's part of the reason why I'm in a private session right now, because so, i got a few things I want to do, and I don't want to be disturbed. And... Um, 
So here's some of the things I decided going forth for GTA Online for my Let's Play. I am not going to do heists. I've decided I'm too far in on the business aspect. It, the the Empire doing the cargo missions, getting the cars and selling them, exporting. I love that so much. So I want to keep involving that. And honestly, I think heists are stupid. I mean, the setup is just really stupid and lame. Uh, let's go up to my apartment while I talk. And what I mean by that is, and this is a lot, this is a complaint from a lot of users. My biggest complaint about heists is when you're in the middle of a heist. All right, let's take one for example, the one I'm on right now, the Humane Labs research heist. You need four players to do each job and then the eventual heist. What drives me and a lot of gamers up the wall is you're in the middle of a heist and somebody leaves mid heist. It's an automatic fail. I freaking hate this. I think it should be set up where if somebody leaves the heist, the heist continues on with the three members who continue on or two if somebody else decides to leave. And if you complete the heist, you not only get that person who left their cut, give them a bonus for doing it shorthanded. I think that is a great idea. I think they should have done that in the first place. I don't think it's fair that everybody fails because one person decided they didn't want to be a part of a group. But whatever. The other thing I don't like about the heist is waiting for people to join your heist. It takes forever. When I played the heist originally on the PS3, I'd sit there for at least 10 minutes waiting for people to show up and finally I'd had enough and I'd get out of it. I hate that. Whereas I better stop drinking. <laughs> Whereas the business aspect of it, what I'm doing now, the cars and the cargo, I can just set invites out there and if somebody wants to come work for me they can accept my invite come find me and we'll go do jobs together which I haven't done yet I'm still trying to get a ha hand on this thing so when I get further along get some more money that I can pay people to help work with me then I'll do it so I'm not doing heist anymore so that means I don't really need this apartment anymore so that's where the cars come in. I found out that my office building, which is across the street from here, you can add a garage and you can add more than 10 cars in that garage. I think I believe I read 40 cars is what can be fit into that garage. Bad thing is it'll cost me a million bucks, which I don't have. I have $177,000. And so I got a lot of work to to do. I had more money than that, and I had a slight goof, which I won't get into details in this video. Um, just a boneheaded move on my part. So, um, so yeah, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to sell this place. I'll probably get like a cheap garage so I can fit more car, uh, so I can split up all my cars into different garages, and then I will go from go from there. So I'll replace this apartment with a garage because then I can save sleep over at the office building. See what I got right now, and I can't do it because I'm inside. I am. Um, I have this place. And I have three other garages, or two other garages. No, I have two garages in San Andreas. I have one, I think, just nearby here. And then I have one in Poli. I think I have the Polito Bay one, or maybe that was the one I got rid of. I got rid of. I had three at one time, and then I got rid of one of them for this place. So let's see here. We'll go real quick. Basically, what I'm gonna do is before I sell the apartment. I'm going to move all my cars out of the garage into separate places of my choosing. Buy a cheap garage. Oops, I didn't want to go in here. 
So let's see, I got what nine cars here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine cars I need to move to different garages. So once I get these cars moved, so I don't lose them or anything like that, or put them in storage, um, then I'll buy another garage. It's oh, just a cheap property to replace this in, and I'll get the money left over from this building and I'll go into the bank and then I'll do some more jobs car jobs cargo jobs and hopefully I get that million dollars unless somebody would be nice enough to give me a money drop and then I'll buy the garage over there which you can see right there the, the entrance for that garage but I don't have that yet okay so I have Del Perro I have a garage on Popular Street and Boulevard Del Perro. Okay, so why don't we pick up the map here? Let's take a look. Okay, so I have that one. And, okay, and the one across town. Okay. Alright, yeah, so the Del the uh, Polito Bay one was the one I replaced this house with. So I'll go buy another one to replace this one, and the money I gain left over will go back into my account, and then we'll build off that. And then eventually, when I have enough money, I think it's like one point whatever million, I'll get a garage for the office. And this will be basically my new quote-unquote safe house. Since I already sleep there, you can eat there and we'll take a shower sleep whatever talk dirty to the assistant you know what I mean so that's basically what I'm gonna do so I think we're gonna end this video here and I got a phone call it's me. Look, this, this garage, garage space, space in the building still, still available. available honestly, honestly it's, it's amazing. amazing just take, take a look on dynasty, dynasty 8, 8. See, see what you think, think. Yeah, what she just said. Garage expansion. But that'll cost a lot of money. Anyways, we're going to end the video here. And uh, next video, you'll see the aftermath of all my work. And I'll probably do a couple mo more runs. Gain some money. And hopefully I'll have enough money. We can start buying some uh, buying the garage. And really doing some damage in San Andreas. To show people what we're all about. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, see you later.